Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to the KWIGS Let's Plays channel, and it's time to bring in the doctor. Clara, have you? She's my carer. She cares, so I don't have to. You need to care, doctor. <laughs> you need to care. So anyway, we're going to dive into the doctor's playset, which released on yesterday, uh, November 3rd. And uh, from what we keep hearing, the Doctor Who level is one of the biggest levels there is in terms Ooh. of uh, content. Awesome, I can't wait. <gasps> it's a Dalek. Dalek, destroy. Exterminate. Exterminate, yes. Typical Daleks. What is their fascination with Earth? That's my fascination. It's all timey-wimey. <laughs> Wibbly wobbly. Exactly. Yes. Timey-wimey. Dun dun dun! Out of my way! Stop it! <laughs> you will get out of my way. Looks like they're bumper cars. The tenth doctor! Yay! There's the ninth. Oh, I'm digging this intro. Awesome. Okay, I'll try not to sing. Too. Hard to believe that there's over 800 episodes of Doctor Who. I know. It's amazing. It's pretty awesome. The Dalek extermination of Earth! Do not resist the will of the Daleks. All humans must present themselves for processing. He was saying that. The Dalek oh, was saying that. Oh, I'm sorry. London in the future. Or at least what's left of it. Who else but the Daleks would cause so much destruction? Daleks like destruction. Up onto the street. I don't want to be late for the surprise welcome party. All right, gang, let's do this. Broken shutters are nothing the sonic screwdriver can't handle. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, where is his companion? Where's Clara? Clara's not around. You look like you could use some help. Here, let me take pity on you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. So we're going to use the sonic screwdriver. We actually have a sonic screwdriver. We have yeah, the 10th do. Doctor's sonic screwdriver. I know. I'm sure that the Daleks didn't get lost on their way to a plumbing convention. Are you sure? <laughs> Yes, our sonic screwdriver could come in handy in sticky situations. I think that was a joke because their faces kind of look like plungers. Yeah, plumber. Yeah, Daleks plungers. Are the masters of Earth. Daleks are the masters of Earth. You fiends! That was a bus! Right on cue. Not so nice to see you again. Well, Ooh. don't don't go hurting my feelings now, Doctor. Ouch. So I'm noticing right now that our heroes aren't saying anything. A Dalek energy shield. And heavily guarded, too. There's nothing getting past that in one piece. There must be a power source nearby. And chances are, we'll find a few more Daleks, too. Ooh, goody. None of the other heroes are saying anything. It's just uh, Doctor Who's monologuing. Oh, that's all right. Breaking that's the fourth that? wall. What do we have here? Unmistakably Dalek technology. And if my calculations are correct, and they are, then this is one of the power sources to that energy shield. I was gonna say, if you do a Doctor Who level, you gotta give him a lot of uh, dialogue. <laughs> yeah, the Doctor loves to monologue because he's saving the world. I enjoy monologuing. Oh, that looks like a laser. Let's go commandeer that thing. Is the Doctor? We have located him. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh yeah! Watch out! Oh. Those Daleks are deadly. Stay calm. More Daleks incoming. We need to get to safety. How about we just blast them instead? Whoa. There's nothing we can do here for now. The Daleks will have us surrounded out there. So, where to next? Let's take a punch, shall we? <laughs> Love the music. It's awesome. Oh, but it can be. So what figurines come with this set? Just the, the Doctor? The 12th Doctor, the... Uh, K-9, and the oh, TARDIS. K-9, okay. I'm the TARDIS, okay. 
Never actually used to watch the 60s Doctor Who when she was a kid. Yeah, I was looking it up because I couldn't remember which one it was. It was definitely black and white and the the guy had shoulder length hair. And I just remember this one episode that was such a mind twister where there were two robots um, and you had to decide which one was lying and they both kind of accused the other one of lying. And uh, it was a death trap kind of thing. Uh. And um, I think, I believe if he got it wrong, all his friends would die or something. And I can't find that episode. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But Duck, huh? Don't worry. You're only human. Or maybe some kind of mammal. I can't tell. But, I'm AI. But it was a very cool episode. And I remember it. Hire a hero? Oh, we have Owen somewhere, but I don't remember where he is. We still have yet to look at all the uh, characters. It's been a very interesting uh, month. But yeah, <laughs> if, if you're wondering why I watched the 60s one, um, public library. it was at the public library. <laughs> so, but I actually- it was That too, was awesome. It was too scary for me when I was a little girl. Only my brothers would watch it and my dad. And I would like, I would go upstairs because it would be a little too scary. Oh! Now I've actually gone ahead and already built the TARDIS, so this will be easy. The TARDIS was actually really fun to build, so... Awesome. Yes! Good job, K-Wing, you're an awesome builder. i just place this on here. Okay. Toy tag C. K-Wing the builder. Now we have a TARDIS. Can he build it? It's bigger on the inside. Yes, he can. I hope it's bigger. So, I didn't really get into Doctor Who until... I think it was on the Sci-Fi Channel and we saw the 10th Doctor for the first time. Or the 9th. I don't really remember. Yeah, I think we were watching the 9th Doctor and you were showing me... And he, no, no, I remember. It was the uh, the last episode with the 9th Doctor where he regenerated into Tenet. And I was like, what's going on? And then I started watching from then on. Like... Mm, Mostly. Yeah, we actually watched, and then you had me kind of watch the the episodes before that, and mm -hmm. yeah, we got into it. But uh, I, I watched a couple episodes with Matt Smith. I really grew to like David Tennant and his performance and, you know, uh, everything that he brought to the role. And then when he left, I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not watching anymore. I've watched a couple yes. episodes with Peter Capaldi, but... When, when David Tennant and Rose were separated, my heart, I, I my died heart. that day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Gandalf. Aww, we don't need you. I wish I could get a little figurine of Rose and and uh, the Doctor. We don't need um, Wild Style either. Ah, oh, Canine! Yay! And Canine's been in Doctor Who like through Long so time. many episodes. <laughs> yeah, you see really old episodes with Canine. I don't really remember seeing much of Canine like in the modern like Doctor Who era, but oh yeah. Well, that's, what, that's one of the greatest things about Doctor Who is they bring back old villains from, like, literally decades before. And it's, I don't know, it just makes the... Just makes the show so cool. It's like no other show ever. I caught a spinoff show with a girl who was supposed to be the Doctor's granddaughter, and she had K-9 with her. Oh, okay. And David Tennant also guest starred on that, like, a couple times. But she passed away... Like in real life, uh, I want to say like three or four years ago. Oh, okay. But that spinoff show was around for a long time. The navigation console, shall we? It's just like the show. That is so cool. Hmm. I hope they have cameos of some of the uh, the companions here, but they might not. Probably not. I don't, I don't think we'll see a lot of the companions. Probably Clara's hidden somewhere, like she was in the Doctor Who level. That's oh, a, yeah, because she's the, the girl that goes along with him, yeah. Now, in terms of modern companions, Clara's been with uh, two different Doctor actors. Oh, okay, yeah. 2015, a good year. Or at least it will be if we can find the next power source to break down the Daleks' force field. Aye. I think they do that with a, a few of them. Well, I think back in the uh, 60s and 70s, the companions actually just cycled over to a new doctor. And then eventually they would be taken out of the show. Yeah. But they would come back and have different roles. Oh, okay. Yeah. I studied up on Doctor Who after I like uh, watched uh, a couple 
seasons of the Tenth Doctor. His stuff got really weird, though. I, I'm not. I wasn't really big on some of the horror stuff. I was like, uh, okay. I like the adventure aspect of Tenet's character. Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of horror. I think, <laughs> I think there is. I mean, some of the Doctor Who episodes are just creepy and scary, oh, yeah. but that's part of what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't do creepy though, so. I like seeing only a, on Halloween. Only on Halloween, yep. Or when a Castlevania game only, came out. Only only Ghostbusters. Up. We need Gandalf. It seems I'm not the hero you deserve or need, so I'm going. <laughs> not the hero we deserve or need. Gandalf. Oh, that you line. Needed gray wizard. That line is going to be part of Batman culture forever now. I know, right? No, oh, another Doctor Who oh, enemy. Oh, the plastic, uh, wasn't that the ninth Doctor? No? I don't I know. I don't really remember. I remember it was with the guy with really short hair with Rose. The no. young looking guy? Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> he was tall. The, ni the ninth, before Tenet. Leather jacket guy. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Fantastic. <laughs> I will forever remember his catchphrase, yeah. Yeah, absolutely I, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. No, yeah, I mean, you'd think you could come up with a better catchphrase than fantastic. It's kind of a word people already use. As far as I know, um, Peter Kripali doesn't have a catchphrase. Oh, In really? fact, he even did an interview where he said, catchphrases aren't really necessary. It's like, really? yes, they are. Every doctor has oh, to have no. a catchphrase. No, he needs a catchphrase. We need Hello, to make a, a petition for that. Justice suspensions is good. Batarangs fix everything. I know, I got to learn what Elancy meant. It's French, oh, isn't it? Doctor. I think it means let, or, or I did know what it meant at one time. <laughs> Doesn't it mean let's go or shall we go or something? It's possible, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Plant a tree I for did know. your tomorrow. All right, so the Doctor Who level, in case you guys haven't figured it out, what's interesting about this is all the time traveling. Um, to solve puzzles, you have to go back and forth in time. Yeah. Oh no, it's the Daleks! I picked up Batarang tricks. Aren't Daleks supposed Batarang. to be some of the most deadly things in the universe? Batman's taken on Darkseid and oh, one. Okay. Daleks are <laughs> nothing. <laughs> No! Things to do. I'm sorry. Critical damage, you're done. Whoa. Uh, Our TARDIS is uh, invisible. Oh, you have to put it there? Hmm. It would appear so, yes. Hmm. This uh, phone booth is pretty strong. This yeah. looks like a job for the doctor. Yes. Sonic screwdrivers, they fix everything. Mostly. That would be such a practical tool to have around the house. I would use it on my dishwasher. It would actually probably help it. <laughs> oh, look at the scarecrow on TV in there. Oh my gosh. Green Lantern. No, they're coming. Creepy. That's enough of you then. Uh, that didn't work. Fisticuffs, then. Yeah. I am the doctor. This is my spoon. On guard. <laughs> this is my spoon. That had to be a new line from something. Yeah. I, I don't know. That had to be a line. Yeah, it's like Doctor Who is the only show that I know that can make creepy and fun at the same time. <laughs> creepy, zany, and fun all together. Oh, yeah. So because of what happened to uh, Matt Smith in the uh, finale, uh, the Doctor has all new regeneration, so we'll be seeing more Doctor Who for a long time. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought the 12th was be the last. Oh, you help, do you? Nope. Good thing I'm here. Matt Smith was the last. Remember that Tenet regenerated twice into the same form. If you use a regeneration, oh. then yeah. Into a, a, a human form of himself. No, like, uh, he was... He was regenerating, and he had his hand in a jar. And then he... 
like basically pointed his regeneration at the hand so he'd take on the same form again for Rose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was before the clone. So, um, he technically used one of his regenerations. And also, the War Doctor um, is another type of regeneration for the Eighth Doctor. Yeah. So, he used all his regenerations. Then, the Time Lords, uh, in the final episode, Clara begged them and they gave the Doctor all new regenerations. And he destroyed, as he was going into his new form, like the people who were attacking that planet. Mm hmm. So. Basically, oh, wow. they prolong the show for however long they want to do it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like since it's it was just starting to get popular again with the ninth Doctor and then the tenth Doctor, and then it's like you know, I don't I don't know if people forgot about it before, but it felt like people kind of weren't as it, into it before. From what I was reading, it got really weird in the '80s, and then they in the '90s they tried that TV movie with the. Eighth Doctor, which wasn't a terrible movie. Yeah. In fact, it's still my favorite TARDIS. Now that it's very big, it makes sense that they would make a storyline where they could keep regenerating, because it's like, why end it now that it's really big, you know? It must be another remote generator powering the Dalek energy shield. Well, it's more international now. Yeah, that's true. David Tennant kind of like brought it into the international market, made it like really big with Americans, and then mm-hmm. Matt Smith just kind of cemented that. Yeah. So. We'll see what Kripali does. Don't worry, K9, we got this. Do you want to know what defeats Daleks really easily? K9! So what's interesting about the K9 unit that I've noticed so far is it destroys Whoa. silver objects, so we don't even oh, need the Wicked nice. Witch. So if you guys don't have the uh, Wizard of Oz set and you're looking, how do you destroy silver blocks in this Lego game? Mm-hmm. Use K9. He just talked about the previous Doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's nice to see Britain at the... Uh the center, the top of the world again for <laughs> Doctor Who. I'm gonna exterminate your face! Just go back in time, make sure you weren't even born. A multifunctional sonic device of advanced Gallifrey technology. Basically makes a buzzing stuff gets That's pretty much what a sonic screwdriver does. Annoying! Ah. Never! We will never! I can unplug you! Uh, they're frustrating. <laughs> Don't the Daleks think that we're like fleshy lesser beings or something? They're tiny uh, little creatures oh, they inside they actually those are. Things. They actually are creatures in there. I, yeah, I forgot. Let's think. I keep forgetting if they're robots or not. No, it's the Cybermen that are robots. I still think that the Weeping Angels are the creepiest, like, out of all the Doctor Who enemies. Yeah? I don't like them. You wouldn't want one in your room at night? No. <laughs> I can't blink. <laughs> yeah, you'd never be able to go to sleep. Well, if that's the case, then I'll just go to a different time and space and time. And time and space. I love how they recreated one of the intros to Doctor Who and using that as like a transition for the Lego thing. Oh that yeah. It's fantastic. Quite fantastic. What is that, a sign for Chinese food? Um, I don't know. Victorian London. Ooh. Oh, they're back in time. I've got a tale or two to tell from my time here. It must be winter. Strange how quiet. Oh, you destroyed the sign. How will I know how to buy Chinese food now? How's there a sinister look to the snow? The snow is beautiful, don't you think? <laughs> Did Batman really say that? Wow. No. Oh, okay. Clean, uncompromising, <laughs> and cold. <laughs> like the icy hand of vengeance. Wait, there's the penguin! Oh wait, no it's not. Batman's not needed. No, Batman, we do need you. 
Oh, you destroyed that beautiful snowman! You're not saving the world, you're destroying it, Doctor Who. I mean, Doc. The Doctor. It's just the Doctor. What do you call him when you're just calling his name? Like, hey, the Doctor. Can you come over here for a second? The only time I've actually heard doctor. him be called Doctor Who is when Gallifrey was trying to contact him. They were trying to contact him through the dimensions uh, leading up to all his lives, and there was a sign in the universe that kept saying Doctor Who, and it was leading him to a certain planet where... I can never pronounce it, but it's uh, the place where the tomb of the Doctor is. It starts with a T. Transalor or something? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Doctor Who names are weird. But they were broadcasting a message through time and space, and it said simply, Doctor Who. And it was oh, leading him to right. that planet. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because his planet is gone. The time, the ta planet of the Time Lords is gone. Well, it was, originally it was destroyed by the Daleks, but then... Uh, the doctors were able to move it into a single moment in time. So. Oh wow. Yeah, the the day of the doctor, the the fiftieth episode, the one where Tenet oh, was yeah, the guest yeah, yeah. star they with Matt Smith. They had the three different doctors in the one episode. And oh. then they had all thirteen, like in the Tardises. Oh yeah, they did. Okay. So you I have that movie somewhere. Yeah, I, I do remember that. So what what? So if it's in a moment in time, so it only exists for a moment, but the moment lasts forever, or something like that, or it, the moment when is it, like when sustained. it comes to time travel, <laughs> it, you know. I guess it's in a moment, and you can always travel back to that moment. Maybe so, I, I don't know. know. At least they're alive. Gallifrey stands. All right. Sort of. We'll go with that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you can hop in the TARDIS, and then oh my gosh. I love that sound. Nice. Yeah, I've heard that sound a few times in my past, and I think in my future. I think in later episodes, <laughs> we'll probably just cut the, um, this timey-wimey no! stuff. It's about two minutes, though. I know. Two minutes. Fine. It's vital. That Dalek is waiting for me. Come on. I know. He's got your number. Come here! He wanted to come in and see if you had hot cocoa in there. Well, Sonic not Screwdriver anymore. doesn't like him. Wait, you're not in Victorian era anymore. Nope, we went back to the future. <laughs> I, I know. Different. You gotta go back to the future. Back in time! Oh, this is a much, much longer level than uh, Back to the Future, though. I, I was very depressed in that. Even, um... Yeah. I mean, we haven't posted it yet, but the, um... What is that called again? Give me a second. Portal. The portal level is longer than the Back to the Future one. I'd say it's about 40 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, one of our subscribers actually went as Marty McFly for uh, Halloween. Cool. Pretty awesome. Made his own costume. Nice. We had some kids that actually made their own costumes that came to our door, so I was like, oh my gosh, it's coming back. The make your own costume thing, bringing it back. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the noise. It's fine. You don't want to interrupt the TARDIS. Yeah, that's right. Let the TARDIS sing its beautiful sound. It's amazing that it's been the same theme song since the 60s. They just add different things to it. It's pretty cool. I mean, the theme song is creepy, but fun and cool. I'm still trying to figure out how did they make the sci-fi theme in the 60s, though? Like, it, it sounds like very electronic. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. It might might have not been made with all the same instruments, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It might have just been the same theme, lesser quality. I mean, some of the greatest music ever written was, you know, made a long time ago. So what we're doing right now is we're changing the layout of the buildings so that okay. all the way into the year 2025, we can stop the Daleks. 
Oh, in theory. I see. Okay. I really want to get in there. You're changing the structure of the buildings now, so... In the future, they're different. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Time wow. travel. It's blowing my mind. Oh, come on. What? The TARDIS could totally Ooh. go over that. Oh my gosh. Whatever. No way. Why would the TARDIS not be able to go over that? I guess it's complicated Time Lord stuff. Yeah, you hit a time wall. And we've arrived back into the future. Yay. That guy is always waiting for us. <laughs> He's a troll. Yeah, you, you do that. You guys actually never grow stronger. You're the same size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really something I need to be he, fearful of. He says that as he's burst into flames. You'll never hit that growth spurt. There we didn't, are. Uh, didn't Doctor Who in the past, didn't he, like, destroy some of the Daleks or their planet? He destroyed their planet. Wow. Many different versions of him did. One more to go. Energy shield losing power protects the final generator. You guys are kind of doing a lousy job of that protecting thing. I'm just saying. It appears that we still have work to do. Aye. We do, Doctor. Hey, stop making me a skeleton. Maybe I should have brought Batman back in. This Batarang does really well. Oh, right. Come on, Batman. We need you. Or maybe later. Oh, that's right. The TARDIS can uh, turn invisible, just like Batman. Invisible. So, Batman, you could use to get past these little green lasers, or you could just the make TARDIS. the TARDIS invisible. Although, how they don't see me breaking all this stuff, <laughs> yeah. I'll never know, but okay. Yeah, it's just magically breaking on its own. K9, you're needed. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, maybe you could park it there on the corner. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I guess it's fine. Where Let's it is. roll. These eyebrows. Attack, eyebrows. Attack eyebrows. I think he's talking about the dog. I, I don't know. Yes, attack dog. And I brought my attack dog. No offense to our subscribers, but a lot of the Doctor Who inside jokes might fly over some of our heads because... We haven't really watched the 12th Doctor very much. No, I mean, I haven't even watched At all. all the Doctors. And by... yeah. I, I don't really have time to watch 800 episodes. <laughs> it's, that's kind of a lot. You didn't do your homework, K-Wing? I don't even watch animes that have more than 100 episodes. It's too much time. Lazy. No. <laughs> okay, I'll deal with this. Basically, the eyebrows say I'm in charge here. Well, I have thicker eyebrows than you, so. <laughs> Whoa, your eyebrows are so take take charge. Yeah. I. Um. No, well, I haven't watched them either, so. Why is it saying we need to go invisible again? Oh, because these guys are still. Well, we'll put a stop to that. Ha! Good job. It's a bit complicated, but uh, you're toast. So yeah. I hope, no more. I hope there really is some time lord going around fixing problems in the world. There's so many problems. Too many problems. The world does need a doctor. Let's see. Start running, Amber. Start running. Run! Man, these guys are everywhere. They probably have a time machine. Daleks. That would make sense. I know. So we're back in the year 2015. Some type of... Uh, oh, it's the future. Oh, wait, that is this year. Can you believe we're in 2015? It seems like a futuristic year. And this is... Back inside the TARDIS. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that does it for the first episode of The Doctor. Ooh, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you shortly with part two of the Doctor Who level pack, which released on November 3rd. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. In the comments section below, tell us your favorite doctor. God bless and happy gaming. Allons-y. <laughs> Allons-y. <laughs>